And today, new testimony straight from a former LMPD interim chief about the death of Breonna Taylor. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Prophet. Yvette Gentry defending the firing of Miles Cosgrove, the officer who fired the shot that killed Taylor. If you did not hear, you did not see, you do not shoot. Grace McKenna covering day two of the LMPD merit board hearing in Cosgrove's case. Grace, there were some heated moments today. What did Yvette Gentry have to say about her decisions? Yeah, there certainly were, Doug, and Gentry did not back down from her position today, saying that she believes that Cosgrove violated policy and deserved that termination that she gave him. She said today that she was going to maintain that even as she was asked questions about whether or not her hand may have been forced. Former LMPD Chief Yvette Gentry going toe to toe with attorneys for an officer she fired. The tension played out in one moment over notes. I'm going to object. It's about she's line got material here. We didn't work. No, provided, it's not. It's in line have access to. I don't know what she's looking at up there. It's I don't line. think that's appropriate. In day two of the LMPD merit board hearing into Miles Cosgrove's termination for his role in Breonna Taylor's death, the board and lawyers pushed Gentry on whether Mayor Greg Fisher told her to fire Cosgrove. But I can emphatically tell you that nobody, including him, was going to tell me to do something that I did not feel was legal, appropriate, or right. The former top cop defended her decision to fire Cosgrove, saying the shots he took that night broke policy. I had no faith that I could put a gun and badge back in his hand and send him back here with life, send him back out there with life and liberty authority in this community. Cosgrove's attorneys hammered down for a second day. They say LMPD use of force policy doesn't specifically require identification and isolation of a target, though Gentry said those are a part of training. All of our policy is kind of informed by law, but we can have stricter policies than laws. The defense pointed to John Mattingly as well, arguing having an officer down can impact decision making. But Gentry argued Cosgrove fired before he knew Mattingly was shot. I didn't take lightly that I was taking his job away from him. In the end, the defense pushed for a directed verdict, saying LMPD failed to make their case. And the fact that they don't address that stuff does not put them over the hurdle of a preponderance of the evidence something the board's counsel said they couldn't provide without ending that hearing today. The defense ended up taking back that directed verdict request, and in just a few weeks here, they'll have the chance to call their own witnesses. Live in Louisville, Grace McKenna, WHAS 11, on your side.